Uh, Shilpa. Yes, ma'am. We are not live yet, no? Not yet, ma'am. So you will send a message. You will welcome everybody. Huh? So yes, ma'am. I'll keep myself on mute. We are live. Uh -huh. Ma'am, we are live, huh? Good afternoon, everyone. I welcome you all for the new academic year 2023-24 of CP Goenka International School. Myself, you can't hear? Myself, uh, Shilpa Milwani. I'll be the coordinator for the primary section. And I would like to welcome uh, Sharmila, ma'am, our uh, principal for CP Goenka International School to take over. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Shilpa. Once again, a very good afternoon to dear parents, everybody, all of you who have joined uh, on the YouTube. And uh, here is a very warm welcome once again from CP Goenka International School to all the parents and students of grade two. You all have seen how we work in grade one and our little ones who were so very much chirpy and active and enthusiastic and energetic on campus last year are going to experience again the similar kind of environment on campus 13th onwards. So as all of you are aware, we are going to reopen on the 13th of June and we are extremely eager to welcome our little ones on campus once again. And before we you know, start with this new academic year, we again would like to brief you on certain policies, certain conditions, certain terms, which we cater to and which we adhere to during the academic year. As I keep telling you that we are always here to help you, to guide you, to support you. The only concern is we would just need to come and connect with us, ask for help and the help is always available to us. Any small little concern, please feel free to write to us and to connect with us. In the meantime, let me share the screen and start with my presentation, which will be helping you understand the working of the complete year 2000, 2023-2024. So once again, a very warm welcome to grade two, to all students and parents of grade two for the academic year 2023-24. As you are aware, we definitely are extremely proud to share with us, with, with you all, all the accolades that we have received this year. And right from the beginning, we have always had been ranked among the top international schools. Thane had been ranked as number one international school, international day school. We are the proud recipient of ISA award and we are going to continue remaining the same. And we are this year again, we are going to work on ISA award and we'll be continuing with that. When I always say that the trustees are very much involved and they have, they when they started the school, they had a particular vision. And the vision is to ensure growth and development of each and every student as a global citizen. And in order to reach this particular vision, they have given a mission statement to all of us. And the mission statement on which we work, we ensure to provide a complete conducive environment which is required for all the children to grow seamlessly and to be a global citizen and to adopt to this ever-changing society. So that kind of environment definitely is given to all our students so that they become the true global citizens. Guiding light of CP Goenka, late Mrs. Savitri Devi Goenka and Mr. Chandra Prakash Goenka, who is, of course, the name has come after him, CP Goenka, uh, who are the proud parents of our trustee, Mr. Sandeep Goenka, sir. The managing members of the trust are Mr. Sandeep Goenka, sir, who is the chairman, Mr. Paresh Thakkar, sir, who is the co-founder, and Mrs. Archana Goenka, ma'am, who is the director of our uh, school. Let me tell you, parents, that I'm extremely happy and proud that uh, seldom it happens that trustees are so very much actively involved in the day-to-day -day working and in the progress of any school. But our trustees are, of course, 
definitely an exception. And all these three members are always and always there to support us, to guide us, to help us at every step. Mr. and Mrs. Goenka take care of everything, all the academics. They ensure that the academics is very much in place. And uh, regularly an audit is conducted by the central office wherein the entire analysis of the results, teachers' performances is done on a regular basis. The teacher's observation is done not only by the school team, but by the central office, central office as well. And which this kind of involvement, this kind of audit always keeps all the heads on the toes. Mr. Paresh Thakkar, sir, is always available to us on campus. So anything pertaining to campus, the managerial, any kind of areas and administrative areas are taken care of uh, quite actively by Paresh, sir. We always run to him if in case we need any kind of support. So we are extremely proud and thankful to our trustees for giving us this kind of an environment when, wherein there is a lot of scope and uh, scope for our growth as well. Ms. Jashri Kumar, who is the founder principal of CP Goenka International School and now who has become the chief operating officer because the school is growing. We started in 2015 under the able leadership of Jashri Ma'am. And we started with mere 300 students. But now today we are 2,500 plus. And we are, we could achieve this particular kind of a success only because of the guidelines which were given and set up by Jayashri Ma'am. She is now the chief operating officer who is always available on campus. And the culture is always set up by Jayashri Ma'am herself. I am Sharmila Madiwale. I am the principal for CP Goenka International School. And I had been handling Cambridge since almost last uh, 15 years. And uh, I had been handling ICSC also uh, since last many years. I had been in teaching field for all these years and uh, quite an expert with A-level program and ISC as well. Uh, which is why, you know, we are, we are here able to uh, provide the national and international curriculum confidently. Ms. Shilpa Melwani is the academic coordinator for the primary section. She is the one who is going to take care of grade one to five. We are uh, making you acquainted with all these heads for the simple reason that anytime if you feel that you need to connect with us, feel free to come and meet any one of us. All three of us are always there on campus. The school looks like this. We work from Monday to Thursday, from 8 to 2.30. And on Friday, the school timings are from 8 to 3.30 p.m. We have this timetable, something looks like this. We have two breaks, one short break and one long break. So we expect children to get some snacks, fruit, of course, healthy snacks during the short break time and proper lunch during long break. These are the subjects which are offered at grade two, one and two, same subjects. Again, so the subjects are going to remain the same, whatever you have had for grade one. The books. The list already has been sent to the vendor and I'm sure all of you must have got the books by now. Sports and performing art is something that makes our school a unique school. We have divided all these activities into three groups and each and every student is expected to select at least one activity from group one and group two and group three is a compulsory activity. So all together, three activities are offered to all students and these activities are incorporated in the timetable itself. These activities are conducted during school hours itself. Now group one is something which is pertaining to sports and group two is something which is pertaining to performing arts. Group three is robotics. We feel that this now is the time that we should be giving all kind of you know technical support to our children 
and we should ensure that they are getting expert in this because that is the need of the hour. Today, artificial intelligence, coding, decoding has, it has become so common. So we want our children to learn all these skills right from the beginning, which is why we have made robotics as the compulsory activity for grade one onwards. Believe me, students do enjoy this. I'm sure you all must have taken your poll and you must have selected all the required activities from group one and group two. In a day or two, we are going to uh, publish and we are going to circulate a circular wherein all the activities taken up by each and every student will be uploaded on our EduSprint portal. So please understand, maybe tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, you will be getting all the list of activities which you have chosen so that you confirm that these are the activities that we have chosen for, for our children. And if in case there is any disparity, do get back to us. Learning resources, you all know it very well. They all are available on EduSprint platform. And also our teachers upload everything in EduSprint platform itself in the form of daily log. So you get to know what exactly was taught during each period during the school hours. We do have a homework policy in place. So it is not that homework is given every day for all the subjects. So we select certain subjects and each day some work is given to children because we want them to be independent learners right from the beginning. We want them to work something beyond school hours also. Something like reading or drawing, some small little activities are given to them as homework and a proper cycle is created which will be published soon before the school begins. Yes, this is something we always keep telling because little ones are, they are so very much enthusiastic when they come back to school. So they always want to cling to teachers. They want to hug the teachers. But we always um, request parents to train your wards from refraining, maintaining distance, and uh, you know certain good habits and values. I'm sure all of you must have done that at home, but this is just a gentle reminder to all of you. So these are certain things which are self-explanatory. Uh, definitely these things will be taken care of. And uh, teachers are there to take care of the discipline, but at the same time, we would want the parents also to train their wards on such small little things like labeling their own belongings, which is very important. Because every day, otherwise, I lost my pencil, I lost this book, I lost my compass. They should not be coming back home with these, you know, complaints. So which is why we always tell that label your belongings and start taking onus of your own belongings so that you know that this is my uh, bag, this is my eraser. I have to take care of all these belongings of mine. Assessment is something which is a crucial and very much important part of school life, of academics. But we do not treat assessment as a, an assessment assessment, a burden burden. But we use it as just a tool to identify the progress of each and every student in order to make us understand it. The teachers also understand how much uh, the students have learned. It is. It has got, yes, grades are important, but at the same time, whether my child has developed certain kind of skill, that is more important. So it's a mechanism for providing us with the data, whether students are in a position to learn, whether they have progressed academically, and whether they are in a position to send to the next class. That is important. The ethos, of course, grade level understanding because the curriculum is designed age appropriate. So at certain age, students are expected to know certain things. They are expected to learn certain things. How would we come to know whether the child, whether the words, the students have learned it? So assessment is utilized just as a tool to ensure the progress of the children and to ensure the performance of teachers as well. 
as a teacher, I realize that whatever I have taught to my children has reached there. Um, the pattern is going to remain the same as grade one. Whatever we had done during grade one, it is going to be continuous assessment for grade two as well. So we are the entire year is divided into term one and term two. And we are going to have the similar kind of assessment pattern. Internal assessment one, internal assessment two, which is going to be of pen and paper. But again, it is not a scheduled examination, mind well parents. These are, we are going to give them worksheets during school hours itself. So during school hours itself, we'll give them worksheets, we'll give them certain assignments, certain tool-based assessment. And tool-based assessment can be anything, maybe a good listening or reading. That, that also can be taken as an assessment. So all these, and plus their contribution in the classes, their homework, how they maintain their notebooks, how proactive they are in the class, how well they interact with each other, whether they are social, all these skills are also counted. And then together, cumulatively, it comes to 50 marks per term, per term which is scaled to 100 marks per term. So this is what both the terms identical assessments are conducted. I once again repeat the assessment. It is a continuous process of assessment. So do not expect that if um, the child will be given a particular week wherein we are going to conduct the assessments. Nevertheless, when our other students of grade 3, 4, 5 are taking the scheduled examinations, that is the time when we expect these children also to do some worksheets or do some written work, which, you know, so they also get a feeling of an assessment only for that sake. So ensure that whenever such kind of assessment, the, of course, the teachers will be announcing the time that they do not remain absent. Otherwise, since I said it is a continuous process of assessment, whenever if the child is absent during certain day and if a worksheet is given to them, it's okay that other worksheet can be given to that child on some other day and he also can be assessed. The detailed discussion on this is going to happen with the class teachers in the month of June, maybe towards the end of June. So one day we'll be calling all the, all the parents on campus, one of the Saturdays, and class-wise orientation will be conducted. So grade two, each division will have an orientation with the class teacher, wherein the assessment, the activities, everything will be discussed in detail with parents. So today the uh, orientation is the, just the generic as, uh, orientation. As I spoke, when we were talking about tools for ongoing assessments, it's going to be, we, are, we ensure that we want to give environment which is conducive to learning and conducive to them so that they achieve to be the global citizens. So that environment is given to them and in that environment only we check, we evaluate them. So then their assessments depend on all these factors, the teacher's observation, students' response, speaking, listening and reading activities, dictation, worksheets, individual project assignments. And as I said, how proactive the child is. Everything is observed. And then towards the end of the term, a cumulative report is prepared by teachers and it is shared with parents. This is something that we have started. Our kit by Orange Craft is given to our student and then accordingly required art material is available. And then we conduct all these activities during art class. School cinema program is something that we introduced last year and we are going to continue with this year as well. The school cinema program is something especially for life skills. So to inculcate certain values, what better option it can be than showing them some movie, some cinema through which they see a story and then they arrive at a particular value. Values are extremely important and that too in this age when our children are very easily accessible to the internet. So through this tool, 
we inculcate values the entire details will be given to you but something like this there are films which are again connected with some topics i'm coming towards the end of the orientation wherein i would like to give you all the mail ids of these important heads so chief operating officer coo dot thani and these are the official mail ids you can always drop your mails to us in order to take any kind of query as i said we are always available to you all and send us a mail talk to us ensure that you have the connect with us because together only we are going to achieve the required result the mission and vision which has been set by the trustees is going to be achieved together believe us have faith in us and extend your hand we are always here to help you thank you so much and i would like to take the questions now i'll stop sharing the screen <coughs> and miss shilpa you need to help me if there are any questions in the question box ma'am there are no queries as yet waiting for queries all right so in the meantime when we are waiting let me tell you parents that the calendars will be handed over to children when they join the school on the 13th of june all of us are eager to wait for all of all the children the timings from the first day onwards is going to be from 8 o'clock onwards so the assembly is going to start sharp at 8 o'clock so we expect our children to be here in school by 7:50 or 7:55 so that you all take them to the classes because their classes are also are going to change now till last year they were on the first floor but now their classes also will be changed so we need to take our children carefully to their own classes for which we would appreciate if you drop your children if in case they are not the transport children drop them a little early so that it becomes easier for us also to take care of them two breaks are going to be provided cafeteria uh the details circular will be sent to you very soon and uh, it will be taken care of uh the campus is really really getting ready and to receive all our dear ones as i said feel free to ask please tell this to your children as well that if you need any help at any time ask for it teachers are available anybody even didis are there on campus they are there in the corridors if they need anything please connect with any one of us we are always there to help you and for you also parents you can drop a mail to us seek an appointment with us and if you could write down your points in the mail that you would like to have a discussion on these 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 points it will be easier for us also to get the feedback from teachers and then call you for a meeting so that the meeting is fruitful we are always looking forward to meeting you parents and there are number of activities which have been planned out for you as well do not miss out on any uh, activities and do not miss out on the ptms also whenever we are conducting parent teachers meeting ensure that you attend all the meetings and connect with teachers yes miss shilpa over to you yes ma'am uh, there is a query regarding the food non veg food and fancy compass box and sweater so non veg food is not allowed on the campus not even eggs uh we are a pure veg campus even the teachers carry veg food only so we do not appreciate non veg food at all for a simple reason children do not know and they get tempted and eat something which they are not supposed to eat yeah and about the fancy compass box um we do not um we do allow but not very fancy but if a child is bringing it should be nicely labeled so that it does not get mixed around with any other child or maybe if it's a same compass box labeling is a must of any item that a child is carrying to school and sweaters uh, uh, we prefer gray and blue with no motives on it uh, no furry ones it should be a plain jackets if a child feels cold in the ac a plain blue jacket navy blue that is not any other shade of blue dark blue and gray and i think ma'am black also is preferred right black blue and gray for the school sweater so these three colors can be worn and during the uh, monsoons uh, children are um, preferred to be wearing uh, floaters 
those velcro ones not crocs because crocs for the whole day it is not comfortable for the kids and they might get uh, shoe bites with that so during the monsoon children can girl and boys both can wear black sandals those are floaters the one with the velcro not fancy one no pink blue white only black yeah uh ma'am can they enroll for canteen food now uh, so you know what uh, they can keep sending the names but then we'll give you a date particular date because uh, we'll be sending a circular and uh, definitely they can send yeah okay for the new admission uh, uh, teachers will be all present on the day one on the main door so do not worry new parents all the teachers will be taken in warmly and they will be guided to their class uh, we need all the books but not on the first day you can send few books every day so that all the books are collected in school and they can nicely be kept in the cubbies and then as per the homework cycle it will be sent across Yes, okay, there will be a class orientation. Sorry. Uh, yes. There will be a class orientation conducted by the teacher for which you all will be intimated very soon. Ma'am, that's it. There are no more queries. So, uh, dear parents, uh, we do not really appreciate sending uh, you sending uh, fancy things with children because for, for the simple reason that what if it if it gets uh, lost somewhere? So, which is why you know many a times they are not able to take care of their own belongings. Which is why we want them to come with simple whatever is minimum requirement. Just send that much for cafeteria. Very soon in a day or two, we'll be sending a circular and we'll be giving you the process also for the enrollment. Please do not worry about it. We definitely will accommodate as many as possible. There is a policy which we are designing for cafeteria. So and it will be clear to you. It will be uh, shared with you very soon. Right? And uh, till then, thank you so much. Have a great day ahead. And looking forward to receiving our dear little ones on the 13th of June at 7.55 a.m. As I said, the school is going to be a full day school. No half day school on the first day. It's going to be from 8 o'clock till 2.30 p.m. Thank you so much once again. Thank you, ma'am.